I'm Hughes Cartwright, and this is Hughes with the News. And, oh, yeah, I'll do it again. Hi, I'm Hughes Cartwright, and this Please is... Don't. What? Please don't do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Hughes with the News. Ladies and gentlemen, if, you're, if your husband or boyfriend or your dad or something has got a case of bitch tits, uh, uh, don't tease them. Donate to the... Bitch Tits Foundation, so a cure can be found. You know, when a fella gets up in years, a lot of times he doesn't like going to the beach because people go, would you look at the tits on that bitch? That's called bitch tits. Sometimes man tits or he boobies. There's got to be a cure. There's no cure yet. But science have found out that a lot of frustrated men in this country won't take their shirt off in public because of bitch tits. Bitch tits, it's this, this is a problem a lot of men don't talk about. You donate money today to Bitch Tits Foundation. God, I hope they find a cure. I'd love to go to Hawaii. First, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look back at news that was a big deal that we don't think about anymore. You know, a lot of people, they want to hear about old news because they don't like the new news. A lot of times the new news is just, oh, it's too new. You know what I mean? You want it broken in a little bit. So let's start off with News Rewind. Here's some news stories from a few years ago that were a big deal, but nobody thinks about them anymore. Hey, you know, there was a war over there in Syria a while back. Uh, not in Syria, but in Syria, which is a country. Okay. Anyway, you know that. Anyway, uh, in, in Russia and Syria, for some reason that no one knows about, they were fighting, and then uh, uh, there other things are going on, and, and uh, evidently they're still fighting, but nobody uh, pays attention to it anymore. Uh, but they're, they're making money, and that's what's important. And then there's Jared Fogel from Subway, and uh, his lifestyle... Uh, he's gotten pretty good, you know. I hear he's getting a lot of protein. And the other day he had a foot long, so he's doing okay. Double meat. He got double meat. <laughs> hey, you know, in these difficult economic times, a lot of people, they sneeze. <laughs> they sneeze when they hear about how important credit is. Credit is very important, particularly if you're a young person starting off in life, or you're an old person who's screwed up in life and you want to improve your credit. You know, have a little... Well, if you're both. Well, if you're both, you know, you get double dipped. So anyway, so what happens is in credit, what, what happens is you, you can improve your credit by getting the, oh, I got pretty fucking good credit, uh, credit card today. It's, it's a special card. You get it, and every month when you make a payment, they report you to the credit bureau. You keep making a payment, they keep reporting your credit bureau. You can't actually buy anything with it, but you just have the card and you pay money, and every month they report it to the credit bureau that you're dumb enough to pay them money every month for them to report it to the credit bureau. And the credit bureau reports you to all the credit card companies that you're a dummy who keeps spending money every month to improve your stupid credit. And finally your credit will get really big, but you'll still be as poor as you are now. But you'll have good credit. That's important to you, isn't it? Huh? Why don't you take up a hobby like stamp collecting or baseball or hockey or something, instead of stupid credit raising or something like that. I don't care about insulting a sponsor, it doesn't bother me. I'm an independent newsman. No one can tell me what to do. Because I'm Hughes. Hughes Coxworth, Hughes with the news. Reporter for over 47 years of excellence on this station and that other station I was fired from. And now this.